One of the first videos that I ever made was the Ferro Serpent, which was a mercury-based compound that when you burnt it, it grew this weird, almost alien-like snake thing. The biggest problem with it, though, was that it was mercury-based, which meant that working with it, making it, and cleaning it up was always kind of a pain. So for a while now, I've been looking for a non-toxic alternative, and one of the best ones that I found was something called calcium gluconate. This is often sold in stores as a calcium supplement, but the tablets that they sell are usually full of filler, which would probably interfere with the reaction. So I went online and I was able to find some pure ones from Russia, and I uh, bought a whole bunch of them. After getting them, I burnt some of them, and it did pretty much what I expected. It formed a snake, but it also formed something that was unexpected because it kind of, <laughs> I hate this part. It kind of looked a little bit like a weird growing dog turd. It was a lot more gross than I was expecting, and it got me wondering. That was just from a couple tablets, or even just one if I remember correctly, and I really wanted to know if I were able to just shove a bunch of tablets together or do it on a really large scale, if I could make something that looked really gross. You're gonna fully load this thing. This is like probably rivaling the puck we're gonna be making. <laughs> is it though? It actually looks like a hand there. Shake it. Go to shake the hand. Oh, oh. It just died. I think to make it look like a turd, you can only do one. Abort mission! Ab abort mission! Why? Hopefully it doesn't fall over too bad. But now it grows like a more proper snake when it's alone. When you have too much stuff, it just doesn't seem to, uh, to do it as well. Stacking them might be another thing to test. I don't think it works too well when you just put, like, one of these. Or it works okay when you just throw one of them on. Oops but it's kind of small and lame. But then when you add more, it kind of just blocks the heat from the other one. And then maybe if it goes well, they all combine into one and then grow one thing. But it's kind of just a jumbled mess of a bunch of things all mixing together. So before we were just burning everything on this thing, but we have a spoon. We just heat the spoon up and then put the tablet on the spoon and see if it just grows on its own. Totally gonna work. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where's this guy's lab coat and goggles? Check the description for details. Think it's good enough? I think it's good. I think it'd be bad if I touched it. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. It's working. It's just not very good. What do we need more of right now? Heat. I thought it was cool if you just held it there with no fire and it just grew on its own. But it sucks. So what I think we need to do is instead get a giant tablet of calcium gluconate. What? Okay, so I got a kilo of calcium gluconate powder and what I want to try first is just burning it and seeing what happens. With it uncompressed, I wonder how it's actually gonna work. This stuff's also kind of wet. It is gonna be a mess. Oh my god. This turned out much better than I thought it was going to. Yeah, it's way better than I thought it was going to be. I mean, it kind of became surprisingly snake-like. Whoa. He's an abomination. <laughs> Cory got startled. Why'd you do that? Okay, so here I have two sizes of these presses. These I got for uh, making superconductors, but I guess we could uh, hijack that whole project and use it to make uh, weird growing snake things instead. <laughs> I don't know how they work. <laughs> this is the first time I've even seen them. You just have this little tube thing. Then we just have to pack the gluconate in there. I wonder if these are just extra pieces. Giant pellet maker. So it has a what does this ring do? 
No, no, don't, don't look what I'm doing. With no help at all, I figured it out. Not gonna use this little one because, uh, I don't know. We wanna make it as big as possible. It gets jammed so easily. Okay. It's just to lubricate it, but whatever. Okay, so we're gonna add a bunch of it. It's kind of wet. I don't know what that means. I think this is good enough. Now to put the, uh, the plunger part. Just take it over to the, uh, the trusty hydraulic press that I use all the time. So right now it's at one. Do you think one is enough? Yeah, I think one's good. Oh, it looks, it looks okay. I'm gonna put some paper towel here just so it doesn't potentially just explode when it falls out. Oh no. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Based on my findings, oh. one ton is not enough. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> what, a, what a mess. How much pressure? Five tons. Five, I think, is just too much. Let's say like 3.5. Oh no. Oh no, it's okay. This is good. This is good? This is fine. Perfectly sized. Wait, I wanna move this a bit. Oh, now it's perfect. So far it's uh, not at all what I wanted to be doing, but we'll see. I just realized you, we've never even mentioned what was happening. Does it matter though? No. Oh, okay. And you kind of did. I never mentioned it, not even once. Do you want to talk about it? Um, the general reaction here is that it's forming two solid things as it burns. All the black stuff should be carbon, and all the white stuff is calcium oxide that came from the, uh, the calcium and the calcium gluconate, but it's also forming gases, carbon dioxide and water. And these things are forming at the, pretty much the exact same time, so as they form, they get puffed up by the gases, and they grow as a very porous, puffy snake thing. Perfect explanation. Should I move it? I just ruined the footage because I kicked it. So what are your thoughts? Still to be determined. Uh, it's still going. Pretty, pretty underwhelming in my What? Head. It's still going. It still has, it still has potential. Oh, I, I, I dreamed of a perfect cylinder. I know. And it's Why not. did you want a perfect so think, cylinder? That's, that was the goal, man. I think you need maybe a bigger burner so the fire comes, like the heat, I don't know. I'm out of here, man. I'm out of here. You're taking me away from my work for this? This is pathetic. I just yeah. want to throw this fork at it. We have yeah. to shoot it with a blowtorch. We have literally no other option. It's like the more fire we shoot at it, the bigger it gets. The, the heat from the burner was kind of just coming from the sides. And I thought that maybe a, hot, a really hot, hot plate would give more uniform heat from the bottom. This tablet I made is kind of falling apart, but I just don't feel like making another one because it's kind of a pain. So here I have my hot plate that is yellow because it's at max heat. I'm just gonna drop this on and see what happens. I'm gonna load it up with uh, a fork. It's doing something. I feel like I'm frying food. No, it's growing, man. <gasps> it's overwhelmingly uncool. Just slowly getting taller. It's so slow though, I just want to shoot it with a torch. So I think the whole puck's pretty hot. So just shooting it a little. Oh no! It's pretty lame. It's having a hard time. <laughs> it's struggling. The powder, just straight up powder on the burner seemed to work better than everything else we tried. Sprinkle some of that dust on it. Oh. That looks pretty weird. Put it more in the center. <laughs> what a... Okay, that's actually looking Holy pretty cool. Holy crap. It's Chitulatu. It's what? 
Good to <laughs> let you. <laughs> Is this a fail? Did we fail or do we succeed in this right now? Uh, I don't think we ever had a real goal, so you can't really fail when you never had any objective. 